everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend because this is the best reaction channel on YouTube, okay? But anyway, guys, seriously, make sure you subscribe because you're watching my videos but you're not subscribed. Just support me and we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers and this is insane and I want to thank each and every one of you for the support so far. And I will, I'm forever grateful. So today I'm going to react to Nappy Briggs' uh, recent video. Uh, so he's a Ghanaian YouTuber who's in Kenya right now. Well, I don't know. The moment he's filming this one, uh, he's in Kenya. And so it's a Kenyan YouTuber took me to the best Nyamachama joint in Nairobi, Kenya. And this um, Kenyan YouTuber is none other than the African Traveler. I have reacted to his videos. I love his videos. And I'm so tempted to go watch also... Uh, you know the the video he did with Nappy as well. So just stay tuned because I will bring you those two videos for sure. So let's see what this is all about. I'm already salivating. I don't know if I will finish this video before I run to my kitchen because Nyama Choma. If you're not from Kenya, make sure when you travel to Kenya, make sure you you know you make sure you eat the Nyama Choma and the, this best joint. I want to know where this is so we can go and have some together. So let's go. <laughs> it's a whole vibe it's it's a vibe you know there is a way how they cut the meat the way they cook it the way they smoke it the way they grill it i don't know but there is something about it so oh my goodness <laughs> Okay, but they're apparently not going to Kitengela, they're going to uh, Kiambu. Okay. This makes me miss home so much. Okay, okay. Where is your helmet, Nappy? Where is your helmet? <laughs> Expressway project. I've seen a, uh, a few times on African travelers videos and it's crazy. Apparently this, uh, this expressway will just be just to remove the congestion in Nairobi. And I think it's a fantastic idea. And Kenya has really developed. It's growing. It's crazy. <laughs> Expressway, where it's go from and to which which towns, which major towns is it going to link? Uh, so let me know in the comment section below. driving on motorbikes i guess it's because since my sister had an accident on one of those i'm like no 
no, 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 no. Even though I know it's the fastest way to, to go through, to maneuver through the city, the crazy city traffic, but I'm so scared right now. And that's why I think people should wear them helmets because if my sister didn't have her helmet, she wouldn't have made it. And um, yeah, so please guys, drive safe. Uh, go on the motorbike, buy your own helmet. So what do you call it? Is it a helmet? Yeah, buy yours and take it everywhere with you just in case they don't give you one. So it's very important to, you know, just stay safe. Hello, African traveler. <laughs> so guys, I'm going to show the expressway. Uh -huh. And you're going to tell me, end of the day, how, what is the difference between the expressway, uh, expressway and uh, uh, Bobasu Road? Bobasu. It's a change. Yeah. Yeah. So we just received, I'm, I'm going to check <laughs> Napi around right. in Nairobi uh, in the expressway. Yes. And later on, I'm going to take him to a very tantalizing Nyamachoma. Oh, man, yeah. I miss Nyamachoma, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, let's, let's, go. Go. let's go, let's do this. <laughs> How's Nairobi so far? Wow. Yes, very good. You very know, good. Yesterday, that is the perfect Ugali. Yeah. Where, uh, where I was today. That is Ugali. I have some kachumbari. Right then, some beef stew. Wow. Ah, I'm to lady today. Ah. <laughs> Yesterday she invited me for Yamachoma. Uh -huh. And this morning, breakfast. Wow, wow, <laughs> so, wow. You know, she was just lying Thank to me. <laughs> let me hold. <laughs> no, let me hold. So this, uh, okay, we'll crash. <laughs> we, we are in a place called uh, Bellevue. 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 So the cars will be flying all along. All along. So right now we're in Mombasa Road. Okay. Above it is Expressway Road. Yes. So the road will be a tall road. Mm. It will be the first time we're going to, ch to be charged like Ghanaians. <laughs> okay. So it's going to be, okay, you're going to have a tall station. So it must be, but where, from where to where? I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Guys, can you see that? This is a footpath. Wow. Uh, footbridge. Footbridge. Right under the bridge. Yeah. And the expressway. Exactly. Flyover. Wow. So yeah, it's a 27 kilometer, mm -hmm. but uh, we are not going to take any loan for it. Wow. So the guy, the, uh, the company is building it, mm -hmm. and uh, they will charge the toll road for 27 years. Wow, that's good. So oh, wait a minute. So the government will not pay for the construction of this road, but the owner of this road will charge the toll fee, actually, for 27 years until maybe you know he makes profit from it and and so oh that's interesting that's what he said right let let me rewind let me rewind i'm not going to take any loan for it mm -hmm. wow. so the guy the, uh, the company is building it mm -hmm. and uh, they will charge the toll road for 27 years wow that's good so yeah that's unique i've never heard of such an agreement before it's a first time is it common let me know in the comment section below and let me know if you knew, okay? Because African traveler, he's just, you know, he's the expert. He knows everything about Nairobi, everything about Kenya right now. So that's some real tea right now, some real information, and I appreciate it. After that, they give it back to the that's government. Good. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. So one thing I was also thinking about is, um, you know, Accra was when we were going to Kumasi, our road yeah. so scary. It was bad. So I was saying that like they should give the road mm -hmm. to uh, like the contract to like a Ghanaian. Oh, yeah. Hi Josh, that's Josh Moore. Hi. A rich Ghanaian, and then he builds it, and then he takes toll for like a number yeah, of years. Yeah, yeah. So that they keep it. I believe the the countries that really develop, say especially that's how US really develop fast. Right. Right. If you see the history, because mm -hmm. uh, there's so many people the road, the railway. Uh, they're not done by the government, they're right. done by the people and uh... I had no idea. I had no idea. I've learned something right now. I had no idea. Okay, and I think it's very um it's a very wise idea because sometimes the government doesn't have the necessary budget for infrastructure. So that's a very intelligent way of doing it. Fantastic. No, the only sad part is uh, yeah, it's done by a Chinese company, so they're the ones with the money right now, <laughs> but I hope more and more wealthy Kenyans will come up with right. that project, yes, yes, just definitely. fund the full project, end of the time you get your cash and you refund the project. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. And you see, um, this is an idea probably, as, as far as, let's say, an African or a Kenyan had, didn't, didn't ever think about it, but now that it's been done, 
it's going to you know to sprout and people will come up with such projects in the future um yeah because local investors that's what we need we need the you know the people from the country to invest in the country and it's it's a good start let's say that this is uh it's something that uh, more and more projects are going this way I can just imagine someone who's not been in Kenya for even one year or two years, let alone six years, they will not recognize Kenya, especially Nairobi. And it has really changed. It's developed. Um, so much has been done. The construction, the, 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 the roads. Um, it's crazy. But I'm so proud, so proud to be Kenyan because oh, the country is really growing. Alright guys, so we're so going to you gonna have the best in the match in the world. Yes, yeah, so it will be in another episode. So just wait and see it. I'll just show us a piece of it and invite you to do with us. Um, I have my brother here, George. Yeah. Hi, George. Yeah, he's more here. Yes. Ooh, is, that, is that light bulb moment? It's light bulb moment. Hi, girl. Oh, she's just from doing her makeup. You're looking so good. I've seen the pictures on Instagram. Mwah. African beauty. Hi. Hey, they're gonna look at her. She's looking beautiful today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she has yeah. an episode coming. She <laughs> has an episode coming. I hope you guys enjoyed this yeah. one. Make sure to subscribe and like. Right, right. Please subscribe and like. We all have YouTube channels. This is the African Traveler on YouTube. Josh <laughs> Moore on, on YouTube. Lights Bob Moore on YouTube. And it's a boy at I love this um, sort of brotherhood that's, that I'm seeing with YouTubers. And I'm telling you, if you want to grow on YouTube, it's very important to collaborate with the right people and people with a good ma- mindset and people who don't have this energy of competition. They're just there to help you because you can gain one subscriber from them here and there, here and then. Your community grows uh, and it's about togetherness. So I love it when I see... People like African Traveler, they're always welcoming people from other countries, other YouTubers, meeting them, taking them around, this and that, this and that, and always, you know, it's a fun moment. And I believe it's, if you want to grow, you need to be surrounded by people who want to see you grow and who you can look up to, or they can look up to you and so so on and so forth. So it's, it's, it's a genuine exchange um, of a partnership, uh, collaboration and so it's fantastic I love this hey. okay so this is where the, the pelican village okay get your Johnny Walker here all right the pelican village so is this in Kiambu right Oh, in Ghana. <laughs> Michele Ponte, you brought me here. I've never stopped. <laughs> Guys, if I should show you this right now, you think I'm in a whole different world. It's just Nematoma that I want to be. And look at the number of cars here. <laughs> look, look. That is Kenya for you. You know, when you go to all these meat places, to all these... Um, uh, you know, where you can dance to music. There are so many cars. People are always going as a family to go and have lunch, to go and have dinner for the weekend, Sunday after church. It's always like that. Always, always, always like that. You can even think it's a car, a garage or something, but no, it's just a restaurant. Look, look, look. People here love them. Yeah, this is not even just all of them. So many people were inside. We didn't even get a place, a space to park. You have to come and park outside. It's just number two I want to my brother. I didn't want to come and buy a car. <laughs> so I'm here with Josh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're about to, to do half your machoma. Yes. I'm feeling like a bit of that uh, yeah. sauced nyamachoma. Good. But you'll see what's available. Great. And um African traveler here, so let's do our own thing. Josh, did you bring me to buy a car? 
or to eat your machoma. Yeah? What is machoma? You don't bring it to my car. No, no, this is normal for Kenyan place, party place. Anytime you have a machoma, okay. it's very normal. Yeah, so, uh, I brought it to eat some meat. <laughs> Yeah. So did you enjoy the best in Machoma in town? Yes. I want some, I want some. Look at the ribs. Look at those ribs. Look at the color. And the best part, I don't know if this is common in other countries, but in Kenya you can always ask to taste, you know, if it, even if it's nyamachoma, be it uh, anything roasted, you can always ask to taste, even when you go to the market, you can taste something before you buy it, so it's ex extremely common in, in Kenya. How do you like it, Nabi? Let me know. Let me know. Is it good? where you have like different stands and you can go and taste here there and there and maybe you're when you by the time you're leaving you don't even have to sit down and eat let me know in the comment section below if you know this place is it stands or is it like a restaurant where you just taste first and you sit down and then you have a meal let me know <laughs> So we have veggies here. I don't think I know the names because I'm Kenyan now. Yeah. We have some um, katumbari and um, there, that's avocado. We have ugali here. And then we have the chips. Oh, what's that? What's that? So uh, you have eggs, you have some chapatis. Some onions, but what's that? Okay. Chicken, chicken pahati. Oh, a mix of chicken. Oh, you Woo. have some corn. Um, eggs, chapati, fries or chips, boiled maize. Yes. Oh. Everything. It looks like the the masala chips. Is it the masala chips? Let me know in the comment section below, Nappy, if you watch it, or African Travel or Light Bulb Moments or Josh Moore. Let me know. Is it the masala? <laughs> oh, and if you're watching this, I guess from the UK or from the US, I know chips are in, uh, so you, there are different ways of saying French fries. So in Kenya, we say chips. And I know there are some countries like in France, chips means crisps. So it's the French fries. Okay, that's how we call them in Kenya, chips. Oh. Everything. Uh, so this is chicken bahati. Bahati basically means luck. So, so you're giving me luck, right? Giving me luck, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, bro. So don't be yourself, guys. We're going to have chicken bahati. We're going to have buzi choma. We're going to have the best of the best. Yeah, buzi is the goat, uh, the goat meat. Meat that is coming from Turkey. Turkey, yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. Are you ready? Why Turkey though? Why? Why not Kenyan meat? I don't know. Let me know. Is it like this? Is it like a Turkish restaurant? Let me know in the comment section below. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I even already started. Are you very much ready? Oh, he's not ready. Can I send you to go home and take something for me? No, I can only be ready when my hands are clean. So I'm like, I'm like, like this, you know? You're wasting time. And you see, Josh, Josh should already should be halfway. There's no way he will leave the table. Yeah. Yes. You don't 
Why are you doing this to me? And it's always like that. When I'm watching this, I'm like, why? Why me? I should be there and devouring the meat. It looks so good. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. This looks delicious. The first cut is a defining moment. watching that was ah that was fantastic i really enjoyed it i'm salivating i'm hungry i want to take the next flight home i want to go visit this place and i want to have that best nyama choma but it was really nice watching and welcome to kenya n-a-p-p-i-e welcome to kenya and uh yeah until next time guys thank you so much for watching and bye